Hello, Fairless. Today is Friday, April 5th. And, and this, this is, is Falcon, Falcon Media. Media. On today's show, we have senior Keaton Spencer. Freshman World War I projects. New York City trivia. Difference maker, Mrs. Miller. Idiot test. Mean girls. New York City fact or crap. Pets featuring Kelly Wade's teddy bear puppy. This or that. Car of the Week featuring Samir Raja. Siblings featuring the Raimi sisters. And senior Zane Ripley. I've attended Fairless in second grade. It feels like any other year, but it's really exciting because I get to start my new chapter. Um, yearbook, basketball, soccer, that's about it. <laughs> My stepdad. I have a dog. All the football games just going and cheering our team on. It goes fast, so um, keep up your grades and don't and take everything seriously. Attending University of Akron to major in exercise science. I've been friends with Keaton since about 8th grade. My favorite memory is probably just playing sports with her. Probably when we went to Tappan Lake and Keaton <laughs> smacked her head off the boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's and then awful. I know Keaton's a hard worker and she's going to go far in college and I wish her the best with that. What did you do your project about? Uh, I built a light trench mortar. My project was on the U-boat, the U-9 for World War One. so. A gas-proof pigeon carrier. Uh, my project was a four-layer, four layers on people's lives and how they affected the World War and their early stages that would help them or hurt them when they were in the war. I did my project about Edith Cavill. Uh, I did a project about a German tank. How long did it take you to make your project? Uh, it took about probably solid six hours and I made it out of wood and uh, nails. So it took about a week to make and I made it with my grandpa. He did all the carpeting for the wood and I used a lot of the glue and the paint. So. It's a team project. Uh, it took me about three days. Uh, used wood and PVC pipe, and then spray painted it. It took about 20 hours total. I used a lot of styrofoam, a lot of hot glue, uh, miniatures that I found around my house, and wood. It took me like a week to do, and I used a box and cotton balls and a mannequin. It took me two weekends, so almost two weeks, and I used a lot of cardboard and wood and paint. What was your favorite part about your project? I got a good grade on it. Uh, my favorite part about my project was just kind of presenting it, because a lot of people liked it and asked if it was store-bought, so that made me kind of proud. <laughs> mm, the reward, 
got a $10 Dunkin' card. It's pretty lit. My favorite part about my project would have to be the miniatures I found around my house that turned into a feast for the feast day of St. Gabriel. My favorite part would have to be the research because it took me a long time. Uh, my favorite part was probably working on it, building it, constructing it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I have worked here 23 years, and two years before that, I was a study hall monitor. My last two years, I've been the food service director. Before that, I was in the high school kitchen. I've seen the dark in the broken place. My favorite memory would be when I was in the kitchen and working with, with the kids. I'll be all right. I enjoy my new part, my new job, learning what I have to do for the state and the federal government. When I worked in the kitchen, I loved being with you kids. I think because I, I was always kind and tried to interact with them when they come through the lunch. They just don't realize how much more there is behind the cafeteria job. part about this job that I have now is probably that I can't have the interaction with the students. I, I miss that. I miss talking with them, asking them how their day's going. I, I miss that. You'll be Play with my grandkids. Go see my grandbabies. They're, they're my life. They're wonderful. Welcome to the Idiot Tips. The capital of New York is a long word. Can you spell it? N E W Y O R K. No. The capital of New York is New York City. The capital of New York is a long word. Can you spell it? I T. Yeah, I can. Uh, N E W Y O R K. New York. No, I'll repeat it again. The capital of New York is a long word. Can you spell it? It. I T. Mm, probably not. You gotta do something. Mm. I don't think I can. Hold on. Okay. The capital of New York is a long word. Can you spell it? I-T. <laughs> uh, no. I'll repeat it. Hold on. The capital of New York is a long word. Can you spell it? I-T. I'm not stupid. Yes. I-T. A. L. What is it? No. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Come here. Come here. The capital of New York is a long word. Can you spell it? I-T. No. <laughs> Everybody just says no. <laughs> Can you spell it? Yeah. How do you spell it? Spell what? <laughs> How do you spell it? it starts, okay, yeah. <laughs> The capital of New York is a long word. Can you spell it? I T. You can spell it. Yeah, you can spell I, I think it. I can spell it. Can spell wait, it. is it the capital of New York? Wait, New New. Wait, wait. You can spell it. I T. I T. Wow. What? The capital of New York is a long word. Can you spell it? I have no clue what you're asking. Can you spell it? The capital of New York is a long word. Can you spell it? It, I-T. Every single person got it this week.
drum set wise, two years at the most I've had a drum set, but for drumming and like trying to do like basic patterns and stuff and mm -hmm. like that, I would say around five, six years, mostly all my life. <laughs> When it comes to my favorite songs, I kind of like a mix of things. Most mostly rock songs. I play in most of the genre. Uh, System of Doubt. I commonly play play with, but I play lots of '90s, 2000, modern, maybe occasional '80s and '70s. But most of the time, it's usually from that type of genre. I mean, I I do dabble in other ones like jazz. If I have to pick like the most like favorite type of thing, I gotta say like it's the uh, little things like a splash, or a cowbell, or a uh, like a certain type of crash that makes like a different sound because it's unique and it like brings out like color. Absolutely, I've. I've had that in my head for a long time. I want, to, I want to say the first time I broke a cymbal, it was probably the most hilarious because I was, uh, I think I was trying to learn like toxicity or something like in that from System of Down because this was like very early on. I kind of like hit the crash wrong when I'm trying to ride it because it was like a crash ride hybrid and I kind of just broke like my drumstick and the crash at the same time. I think it was like a rock band like drumstick so it was like cheap, malleable and not sturdy at all. On the New York City trip this spring, the sophomores will be seeing the hit Broadway musical, Mean Girls. Mean Girls was performed at the August Wilson Theater located on 52nd Street, New York, New York. This theater is named after Pulitzer Prize winning playwright, August Wilson. This theater has a seating capacity of 1,275 seats, opening its doors in 1925. Mean Girls achieved the box office record for the August Wilson Theater. The production grossed $1,994,386 for the week of December 30th, 2018. My name is Regina George, and I am a massive so big because it's full of secrets. Yes, Regina, no, Regina. Every waking hour I spend making sure Regina, George can stay in power. If Regina is the sun, then I'm a disco ball because I'm just as bright and fun. Regina is the queen, but I'm the head of worker pieces. I am seated at her right hand. Like a Jewish princess Jesus. That's Karen Smith, the dumbest person you will ever meet. I once saw her put a D in the word orange. <laughs> My name is Karen. My hair is shiny. My teeth are perfect, my skirt is tiny, it barely covers my perky hiney. My name is Karen, I may not be smart. That's it. The story of Mean Girls tells of teenager Katie Heron's journey from Africa to a public school in the U.S. Here she faces the challenges of popularity and keeping true to herself. Katie finds herself intertwined with the plastics, but she eventually realizes who her true friends are. 
Mean Girls is based on the 2004 movie of the same name by Mark Waters and Tina Fey. Tina Fey was inspired to make this hit film into a musical. In 2013, she contacted Jeff Richmond and Neil Benjamin to compose the music and lyrics for the show. Soon enough, Mean Girls premiered at the National Theater in Washington, D.C., and later opened on Broadway in April of 2018. Mean Girls racked up a total of 12 Tony Award nominations. This musical also won the Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Book of a Musical. Audiences continue to love the musical. Have fun enjoying the fabulous show. Remember to stay courteous to the fellow audience members. Factor Crab. There is 70 floors in the Rockefeller Center. Crap. We'll just go fact. Fact. 70? That's false, there's more. Crap, there's 66. Factor Crab. Square draws 50 million visitors a year. Fact. 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 50 million? Crap, there's more than that. Fact! Fact or crap? Central Park is bigger than some countries. Crap. Fact. Crap. Fact. That's a fact. Fact! Fact or crap? New York City has the largest Chinese population in the U.S. Crap. Crap. Because <laughs> I said back the last I time. I almost said back. It is back. Oh. Backed. I think it has the largest Chinatown, but, uh, uh, fact. Fact. What kind of dog do you have? Um, I have a teddy bear puppy. <laughs> What's his name? His name is Baker. How long have you had him? For about three months. <laughs> What's a favorite memory that you have with him? Whenever we're about to leave or go somewhere, he, I guess he knows, but he like runs under this chair and hides. And if we try to get him, he like backs away and runs around the house. What's a funny thing that he does? If we're all eating dinner or lunch, whatever, he will sit by his food dish and like beg for food until we give it to him. Cookies. Cookies. And milk. Cookies. Cake. Cookies, cookies, cookies. What kind of cookies? <laughs> cookies. Pancakes. <laughs> Depends on what I'm in the mood for. But right now I'm in the mood for some waffles. Pancakes. Waffles. Pancakes. Evening. 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 Uh, morning. Summer. Summer, definitely. Summer. Summer. I like or. Both. So I'm going to take or on that one because I like both of them. They, they both have their pros and cons. Ketchup. Ketchup, mustard. Ketchup. <laughs> Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Ketchup. Oranges. Cuties. That was considered oranges. Uh, yeah. Right? I just... Oranges. 
Oranges. Apples. Oh, I'll pick apples on that one. The Subi. So, Samir, what kind of car you got? Uh, this is my 2013 Subaru Legacy. So, Samir, can we uh, look through your car here? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right, let's see. So, I'll uh, we'll start over here. We got a whole bunch of paperwork. What is this? Oh, uh, window breaker. Oh! Emergency. Fair enough. So. Got some... What is this, some paperwork? Yeah. Okay. Chemical bag. Never forget the napkins. Subway. Got the best ones. All right. Uh, we got... We got in the center here. Ooh! <laughs> See that? Ooh. It's legit. No, I'm not around. Got some cables, some other goodies, and then in the top portion. Just some spare change. Dang, dude, that's some uh, that's some serious heavy lifting for a uh, spare change there. So, uh, Samir, what kind of tunes you got? Uh, only the greatest, dude. <laughs> So, Samir, can we take this bad boy for a spin? Yeah, dude, for sure. All right, but first, seatbelts. <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road. So, Samir, what compelled you to buy this car? Um, I got it for a good deal. I couldn't pass it up. And compared to what it's worth online, I saved quite a bit of money on it. Hey, Samir. <coughs> have you ever driven below five miles an hour before? Dude. You're literally going... <laughs> ah, Samir, you're really stupid. All right, Samir, rev that engine. Totally worth the HR. All right, Samir, you think I can uh, fit in your trunk here? Yeah, you can try. All right. <laughs> See you next time. Who was born first and by how long? Me by like two years. Who is the cleanest or the most organized? Hallie. Kira. What is one of your best memories together? I'm um, going camping, playing basketball at the lake. What was your biggest fight? <laughs> I feel like it was one, one time we were running around the table because I said that I wasn't scared of her. It was after school, so she was chasing me and then I let her hit me and then <laughs> it hurt really bad so I hit her back and <laughs> I would say um, we were outside <laughs> we were little. <laughs> And we had this like <laughs> baby doll like rocker thing and Hallie was sitting in it and then she fell out of it and she blamed it on me and I got in trouble but she said I pushed her out but I didn't but she said I did and then I got in trouble and then I was really mad at her. Who's the favorite? I don't No, there is not a favorite. You're the favorite. No, because dad favors you. Mom treats us the same but dad favors you. I guess that's true. My dad kind of lets me get away with a lot of stuff. Yeah. Hallie gets yelled at a lot. What was it like growing up with each other? Well, we used to like fist fight, but now we don't anymore, so. Mm, yeah. Compliment each other. Um, you're really good at sports, and I'm jealous of you because you can sing really well. I can't sing good, but thanks. Um, you're good at singing, and you're pretty. <laughs> you have good <laughs> style. Thanks. <laughs> now hug each other. I've gone fairless since second grade. like being a junior but a year older. My sister graduated in 2012.
Even the pops in my head is just freshman year when I saw a fight. That's pretty, that's pretty fun. Advice would just be to uh, realize that you have a whole life ahead of you and just don't try and rush stuff. I only got plans, I'm just trying to, just hoping things work out. Uh, I've been friends with Zane for a really, really long time. I think it branches back to like somewhere around 6th or 7th grade. My favorite memory with Zane is uh, over the summer with one of our other friends, Colin, we decided to go out to Walmart. I think it was somewhere between 11.30 and 1 o'clock. Uh, on our way back to turn into Zane's house, it was like a weird road, and Colin starts like swerving to get in there, but there was a cop sitting there. And so when we got back to Zane's house, we like parked in the mid's parking lot, and Colin gets out to lock his car, and he actually hits the panic button, and starts going off, and Zane's neighbor calls the cops on us, and the cop comes swinging around, we're all just kind of standing here in Zane's carport, staring at the cop while he's like looking back at us, and I'd like to say that Zane's like uncomfortable stare made him drive away. <laughs> You know, good luck Zane doing whatever the heck you do because right now I'm not even sure what you do. And that's all for today, Fairless. See you next week on Falcon, Falcon Media. Media.